Hey, what's up everyone, it's Patrick, and welcome to my guide to Sins of the Father mini quest on RuneScape 3. At the end of this video, I'll also be showing you how to obtain the permanent passive effect for the Ring of Vigor, which you will need the actual ring for. You can buy that from the Dungeoneering Shop for 50k tokens. It saves you 10% adrenaline when using an ultimate ability, and gives a 10% discount when using a weapon special attack. The only quest required for this is Desperate Measures. There's actually only one skill requirement, and it's 85 in any one of these skills. Either crafting, runecrafting, smithing, or invention you do not need 85 in all these just one you don't need any items i just recommend a quick way to get to anacronia the lodestone is fine for that the reward for this is access to the effigy incubator this video is brought to you by the awesome members of my Patreon. If you want access to some exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Enjoy the video, everyone. To start, go to Mr. Mordot in Anacronia in the area shown by a yellow marker on this map. You can easily get there using a lodestone and running east. Speak to Mr. Mordot and select option one twice, then accept the quest. Go by a lodestone to the west. Speak to either Eliza or Alpheus south of the Lodestone and select option 1 to talk about Karapak. Head to this area to the north shown by yellow marker on this map. Investigate the Dragonkin statue and make sure you finish all dialogue that you get or they might not let you do a next step. Investigate the Dragonkin statue a second time if necessary and finish the dialogue. Enter the door and you should be inside. Speak to Vincentius and select options 2, 2, 1. Speak to him again. All over this area, there are these nodes that you can click on to collect resources from. You need to collect 20 from any one of them, but there are some you may not be able to do. Remember in the beginning of the video when I said you need 85 in one of the skills required? Crafting, runecrafting, smithing, or invention? That's this part. You can only collect from a node where you have 85 in that respective skill. If you hover your mouse over each node, it'll tell you in the name which skill is required. If you have 85 in all of them, then it doesn't matter. But if you don't, just look for the one that you can do. If you get any dialogue, make sure it finishes that before continuing. Collect an FG casing from the middle to get one in your inventory and be sure to finish all dialogue again. Speak to Vincentius again. Construct an FG using Carapac's workbench, whichever one you get the resources for. Speak to Vincentius again. For the next part, he will instruct you to turn four valves that are differentiated by color. On screen right now is a map showing you where each valve is and what color they are. Just follow his instructions and turn that one. If you missed the dialogue where he said the first one, I think you should be able to just speak to him again and he'll tell you. When he tells you that the machine is correctly calibrated, interact with the incubator hatch, which is the machine next to him. Interact with the incubator hatch again to get the FG back and finish the dialogue. Speak to Vincentius to end the tutorial, then speak to him one more time. That's going to be the end of the mini quest, but now I'm going to show you how to unlock the permanent and passive effect for a Ring of Vigor. You actually need to complete the extinction quest before you can do this, which this mini quest is a requirement for, but it wasn't originally, so I had to come back and do this. As I said in the beginning of the video, you also need the actual ring, which you can buy from the Dungeoneering Shop for 50k tokens. First, you speak to Vincentius, then speak to Hannibus and select options 3 and 1.
Enter the hibernation pod up the stairs to the west and select the option 1, yes. Exit the hibernation pod and select option 1, yes. Speak to Vincentius one last time and select option 1. Do you have any extinction rewards for me to receive a warped gem? Click on the warped gem to combine it while you have the ring of vigor on you. Both items will disappear and you automatically gain the ring of vigor effect. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for future videos to come if you haven't already. There are also links in the description below for my Patreon, donation link, Twitter, and Discord where you can interact with me. Donations can also be directly made through YouTube now. Thanks option. Near like button below the video. Catch you later. Peace.